Okay, so I've already done my foundation because I did a little facial and my face got really red. Uh, so I decided to just go ahead and put my foundation on first. And then while I was at it, I went ahead and filled in my eyebrows. I feel like those, um, those two things are kind of boring to watch anyway. So I'm just going to uh, clip my hair back here so it's out of my face. And we'll go ahead and get started. So I'm going to be using purples and lime green. Purple and lime green for today's look. Uh, any purple that you have will work. The lime green color that I am using is this one here from MAC. It is called Bitter. And MAC is now very affordable, so anyone can get their hands on that. It's only $6. Not a big deal. For your purples, like I said, just pick any favorite purple that you have. You can start off with a purple base if you want to. I'm not. I'm going to start off with a little bit of this jumbo pencil from NYX. And it is the white one. This is going all over my lid, right up to the brow bone. I'm going to go ahead and set the jumbo pencil here with a little bit of a flesh tone color. Now, if you are uh, darker skin, but you still decide to use the white pencil, I would suggest using a very light eyeshadow to set it if you are going to do that. The only reason I'm doing this is so that just in case there are any parts of my the jumbo pencil that I put down that are still a little damp or tacky I should say um, setting it first will help keep your eyeshadow from sticking and skipping for my crease I'm going to mix two colors here I'm going to take brown script and saddle and mix those two together and put them through my crease and remember to start in your crease and then work the color upward so I started by tilting my head back <clears throat> To put the color into the crease and then as I start working it up onto my brow bone you can kind of bring your head forward and then work that color onto the brow bone. I'm going to take a little bit more of those two uh, colors and use a pencil brush and I'm going to apply those two to the lower lash line. And I'm going to go ahead and apply the purple, and this is going to go all over my lid. If you want to know what purple I'm using, I'll list it down below in the description box. So I'm starting along the lash line because that's where I want it to be the darkest. And then I'm going to go ahead and work this up towards the crease where it will gradually begin to fade. And I just dip my brush back in, and again starting at the lash line, I'm going to take this all the way up to the crease. I'm going to go ahead and take some of that purple and run that along the lower lash line as well. And I'm just using the tip of my brush here. And then what I'm doing here is just going into this outer corner to meet the bottom with the top. I'm going to take my pencil brush. If you want to, you can go back into your purple to add more. Since this is a party look, you can go a little crazy if you want to, smoking it out. You can bring it down kind of low, too, if you want. Okay, I'm going to use a really tiny brush here, and I'm going to go into the purple. Start off with the purple first, I should say. And I'm going to go right into the crease. Because I want everything to blend seamlessly, I don't want there to be a line. So that's why I'm going in with the purple first. And then I'm going to go back in with brown script and soft brown to blend out the edges even more. And then back in with just a little bit of that soft brown and brown script. Now I'm going to take that teeny tiny brush, wipe it off, and go into brown script and soft brown. And I'm going to run that along the bottom here. Alright, I'm, I'm going to use this pencil here. This is from MAC. It's a, a technical pencil. It's called Sourpuss. And it is a lime green. I'm sure that right now, because Halloween is coming, you could pretty much go anywhere and find this color. Alright, now I'm taking a little bit of Bitten on my pencil brush here. Or Bitter. I keep calling it Bitten. 
I'm going to use my pencil brush and I just wiped it off on my pants. I'm going to go right here at this edge, blend out this edge here because you don't want your color to just abruptly stop. You want it to be nicely blended. So now I'm going to go right, I just wipe my brush off again. I'm going to go into that green and I'm going to pull it in or out, I should say. All right, if you want to put on a wing, you can. I'm going to skip the wing because I'm going to lose a little bit of that smokiness. Okay, what I'm doing now is adding a little bit of black eyeliner to my lash line. I am going to wear some lashes. So I just wanted to add a little bit of liner before I do that. You don't have to make it so super neat. What I'm doing is going in with a smudger brush and just smudging that out a bit. So I just kind of had an afterthought. I'm going to apply a little bit of glitter to my lid, and I'm going to do that before I put the lashes on. I just feel like it'll be a lot easier. If I try to put the lashes on and then do the glitter after, it could be a potential disaster. So I'm going to use a little bit of glitter glue, and I'm not going to add a lot of glitter, just a small amount. So I'm going to use my uh, finger here to just apply some of this glue. And I'm basically just putting it along the um, center of my eye. And I have this uh, glitter that I got from Nia Cosmetics. I ordered a glitter from them a while ago. And as a little sample, they sent me this purple glitter. See how pretty it is? Oh. I'm just going to use my finger. Because again, I don't want a lot of glitter. And a brush might deposit too much. And I'm just putting on these cheapo lashes, these uh, J Lash. If you ever come across these, these are number 42. They are natural hair lashes. These remind me of number sevens from MAC. Right, while my lashes are drying, I'm gonna conceal. And I'm keeping my eyeshadow pretty low today, so I'm taking the concealer down, or I'm starting to conceal down a little bit further than I normally would. If you're wondering what I'm using, All right, concealer's on. I'm going to go ahead and set my under eye area. All right, I'm going to go ahead and powder the rest of my face. All right, I am going to contour. I kind of decided that I want, I want to look a little sort of like maybe vampy slash goth. I think it's a good look for Halloween parties, right? And I'm going to use a little bit of my Makeup Revolution Bronzer here as my blush. Then I'm going to go ahead and put on some highlight, and I'm probably going to really overdo it with the highlight. Okay, I am going to apply some bottom lashes just to make this a little bit extra, you know, because it's a Halloween party, so we might as well be a little extra, right? I swear it's raining outside, but it's not. And I keep hearing something, like right behind me is, you know, outside. And I keep hearing, it sounds like rain hitting the side of the house, but it's not raining. I have no idea what that is, um, and it's driving me nuts. I want to go outside and check it out. I am going to put some mascara along my bottom lashes. So I just have these lashes. I'm going to take the shorter ones and I am going to use tweezers to put these on. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go for a cement colored lip. So I'm gonna line first. Actually, I lie. I lie. I'm gonna put a little bit of lipstick on. All right, so now that the bottom lashes are dry, I'm going to take a little bit more of the purple on my really super teeny brush here, and I'm going to go underneath the lashes even more. Because I've made my lower lashes longer, I can extend my eyeshadow down just a bit more. All right, guys, so we are done with today's look. I had to get my hair up and out of my face so that you guys could see everything, and I did a little pompadour here. Uh, but anyway, you'll have to let me know what you think of my look. I feel like it's sort of 
like borderline goth or vampy or whatever the heck you want to call it. My skin is really super pale and uh, with the, the color contour that I use, it's more of like a sort of like brown concrete color. It's very cool. Paired with the lips that are very cool. I, I actually really like this. I think this is great for Halloween parties. So if you're invited somewhere and you don't really want to dress up but you still want to kind of look the part, you could do something like this. So one last look at the eyeballs here. I am digging it. I really like this a lot. I've actually worn my eyes like this before, but I didn't bring it down quite so far. I feel like if your lashes are longer on the bottom, you can bring your eyeshadow down even further. You can actually take your eyeshadow down to the length of your uh, bottom lashes. So if you have really long bottom lashes, you can take your eyeshadow down far and it'll still look really good. Um, I do like the little bit of glitter that we have going on here. So anyway, um, that's it. I, I actually really, I really like this. I wish I had somewhere to go, but I don't. So, all right, that's it, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and go. Oh, did I tell you about my highlight? I don't think I did. So I did a very super uh, sort of white, lightish highlight. What I decided to do was go over that and make it look a little more Halloweenish. So I took these two colors here. I took Bitter, which is what we used in the inner corner, and I mixed it with a little bit of Sunny Spot from MAC. And I put it on top of my highlight to add just a little bit of a green hue. Just to be different, right? Because it's Halloween, so let's just be different and have fun with our makeup. So for those of you that are wondering, I will list everything that I use down below in the description box. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you all again very soon. Bye.